Hello and welcome to my next review. Today I'm going to present the Nightcore LR12. I got the flashlight about a month ago. Uh, by then it was a pre-production sample, so I only got uh, this lanyard and uh, a spare o-ring. So I'm not sure what the final packaging will look like. In fact, it's uh, the big brother of the Camping Lantern LA10, which was a palm-sized uh, chapstick size flashlight that run on a AA battery, where you could turn out the chapstick diffuser. The news on this flashlight is now that it's uh, multi-purpose. So uh, the magnet in the tail cap stayed. The uh, user interface also uh, stayed the same but uh, what uh, really changed is the diffuser on the LA10 had a closed uh, front here and this one now offers the possibility to use it as a normal flashlight because it has a smooth uh, reflector here uh, that's sitting in front of the LED so you can use it uh, as a normal flashlight uh, as well as for a camping lantern so the magnet in the tail cap is still there, so you can attach the light to magnetic objects. Nightcore used a Cree XPL HD V6 LED on this flashlight, again in cool white, so that's a bit disappointing to me. Especially a camping lantern should uh, use neutral or warm white, because it's a lot cozier if you're sitting uh, on the campsite with a warm... Uh, cozy light than this uh, cool white light but again that's my opinion lots of people prefer uh, cool LEDs so uh, therefore I think Nightcore still produces as many lights with cool white LEDs. The light uh, has four modes and one special mode it's waterproof uh, according to the standard of EPX8 and um, it has a maximum beam distance of uh, 166 meters and the maximum beam intensity is uh, 6900 candela. So uh, you can use it in a lot of situations. It's not a thrower, but uh, looking at the size of the reflector, nobody suggests that. The dimensions are the following, the length is uh, 106.2 mm, the tube diameter is 26.9 mm and the weight is about 78.5 grams. The LR10 runs now on one single 18650 battery or you can also use two CR123 batteries. So in case that you are not able to recharge the light it's always good to know that you can use it with non-rechargeable batteries. In fact the light has four modes as I already told you. By uh, turning the tail cap you can switch the light on. Loosening and tightening it again you can switch between the four modes and after the four normal modes there comes the beacon function. So if you need a location beacon uh, it's pretty cool and with the diffuser out it transforms into a nice camping lantern so in my eyes it's a cool addition to the uh, camping lantern family of nightcore there are really lots of cool camping lanterns um, so i'd say now we are going over to the ulbrich ball and we are going to test how the light performs if the 1000 lumens on turbo are achieved and uh, then we are going outside in the garden so that I can show you what the light looks like in the dark. So the light is indicated with one lumen in the low mode we have 1.5 lumen, the medium mode is indicated with 60 lumen, the high mode with 230 lumen So that's pretty accurate. And now the turbo function was 1000 lumens. So that's accurate as well. Um, 
I must add that the light does not has any memory mode so every time you switch it off it will uh, turn on in the low mode. Uh, a cool feature would be to have a lantern like this with a clicky or side switch uh, so that you can add features like memory and uh, maybe uh, direct access to turbo or other modes. So I wanted to show you how much amps the light draws out of the flashlight in the uh, different modes. So uh, we are going to start on the low mode with 0.06 amps. The medium mode will draw 0.1 amp. The high mode 0.5 amps and then the turbo mode with 2.8 amps so that's not a lot but it's not a very bright flashlight so uh, that's pretty okay if you want I can show you the inside of the flashlight so there's a brass pill in the head of the flashlight and the tail cap has a spring and here you have the magnet. The magnet is not removable as uh, we know it from other lights. So maybe that could be a cool feature for Nightcore in the future to add uh, a removable magnet. So that was it for inside. Now we are going outside in the garden and I'm going to show you how the LR12 performs in the dark. Well, here we are outside. I've got the LR12 on the brightest mode here in the flashlight version so you can see you got some nice range with it. I'm going to turn the camera a bit so you can really use it as a normal flashlight. That's really cool. I'm going to show you the different output modes. Now we have the ultra low. And the beacon function. I'm going to turn over to the tree again. I'm going to show you the different output modes uh, as a camping lantern uh, mode. The light color is cold white as I already told you before but it's not really really cold so if you use the flashlight uh, mode it's a nice uh, light color, but if you turn down the uh, chapstick or diffuser, how you want to call it, uh, in my eyes it's really cold. And I have it on the brightest mode. You can see it illuminates nicely around the light. I'm going to dim it down now to the lowest mode. The lowest mode is really nice if you want to preserve night vision then you only need really decent light and uh, you can still see some details in the dark. My only um, critic on this light is that uh, it should have a memory mode or uh, some sort of uh, different switch mode so that you can use uh, or directly access the desired output and not always have to switch between all the modes and of course I would prefer a high CRI version or a warm white version for a camping lantern. Here we have the low mode so it's a lot brighter than the moon mode but it's still a really nice uh, mode for sitting uh, on a campsite. You can see the high mode it's already really bright can't really see it on the movie but uh, that's really if you need to see something I let's say if you are planning your route for the next day with a map and uh, then you are going to use this mode now I'm going to show you once more the turbo mode and then uh, that's about it for this video so here you can once more see the turbo mode I really like the light I already liked the little sister of this light a lot because it's a cool concept now as you can use it uh, as a 
real flashlight as well. It uh, makes the light even cooler. Uh, as I already told you guys, the only thing I would wish from Nightcore is warm white version and maybe a different uh, user interface with memory. For the rest I'm really satisfied with this light from Nightcore, so I suggest you get one of those. I hope you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you soon, bye bye.